the beach. Sand, trash, seagulls, sand, screaming families, sand. Man, I came here to relax. I'm not having any fun, and all these people are cramping my style. Ah, you know what would be great? Heads up! A private island. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? A private island would be cool. Let's do it. Yeah, you know, me and the boys been working real hard lately, and I could use a nice getaway. Little private island, some rest and relaxation. Ooh, that's a bit out of the price range. Team meeting. All right, so hear me out. If we build a private island, then we can relax. Yeah, that sounds great, but how exactly are we gonna build a private island? Okay, he uh, really got me there. I had no idea how to build an island, but I knew what I could do. I could set up an ocean simulation in my backyard to help me figure it out. Okay, so I did some research and it turns out that building a man-made island is gonna take about seven months. I don't have that kind of time. So most man-made islands are built with sand. So for the sake of science, let's pretend this cup of dirt is sand. So as you can see, this is just a mess. So realistically, it's gonna cost like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get enough sand to build an island. And as it stands right now, I don't even have the budget to build a kitchen island. So my only other option is this, not almond milk, but Building something that floats. Now, drinking enough almond milk to support my body weight could literally take years. So I had to consult the internet to find a quick and affordable way to build a floating island. I came across a listing for these big plastic barrels. Each one of these bad boys is equivalent to 110 cartons of almond milk. And the best part is, they were free. That's right, one man's trash truly is another man's treasure. A few of these and I would have a solid foundation for my island. But I wasn't entirely positive that these could carry my weight. So I ran a series of professional scientific tests so I could be sure. I found that no matter how hard I tried, there was no way I could pull these barrels under the water. Bringing me to the conclusion that I could trust these barrels with my life. Life. I think this thing's gonna work. Okay, so I wasn't out of the woods yet. These barrels still had one little problem. They weren't entirely waterproof. I couldn't sink them in the pool, sure, but put them out on a large body of water for an extended period of time, I'm probably going down. And that's just not a risk I'm willing to take. I'm supposed to be out there relaxing, getting my rest in, by myself, peace and quiet. The last thing I need is a shipwreck. Okay, I should have enough floaty devices to build some sort of platform. So as usual, when I build something, I had no idea where to start. So I started situating the barrels into different positions, and then I realized I missed a pretty crucial detail. If I'm gonna bring this thing anywhere, it's gonna have to fit in my car. So I would have to take some measurements and carefully engineer this whole project just so I could transport it to a body of water. Good enough. So it's not the biggest island in the world, but it's big enough to hold me, and that's all that matters. This is a prize island. I am not going back to a public beach because people ruin everything. I have all the barrels tied together and it's time to build like a platform on top of the thing. I have all this lumber from recycled builds. I just don't know if it's going to be enough. So we basically just started building a frame for all the barrels to sit in it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a huge bee in here. Huge bee in here. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. no. Okay, I think I got him. Okay, all right. So anyway, I, I don't remember what I was saying. <sighs> I, I, I did this. I did this wrong. You know why I did it wrong? Because I was distracted. You know why I was distracted? Because you didn't subscribe to the YouTube channel. You also didn't follow me on Instagram where you get behind the scenes stuff all the time. So make sure you do that and I'll make sure that I don't mess this up again. Okay, so I need to figure out a way to attach the barrels to the platform. But I can't put screws in it or else it's gonna sink. So I think my only realistic option is to use duct tape. What? What? This is going in water. I think my only realistic option is to tie it up with some straps, but I, I don't have any straps. There's been a lot of construction going on around here, so there's got to be some sort of strap or rope somewhere. I love trash. It's a gold mine of opportunity, endless possibilities. It's free, it's gross, and I always seem to find what I'm looking for. And just as I suspected, I found a lot of usable straps here. I got right back to it, because unfortunately there was still a lot of work that stood between me and relaxing on a private island. Okay, now I gotta put a top on this thing. I still had a bunch of salvaged lumber from when I took apart my secret room that I built in public, but I should have known that things wouldn't go so smoothly for too long. Alright, so this piece of wood here is a totally different thickness than the other one I have on here, which is just a problem, so I'm gonna have to go and find- No, I just found this. What? I just, just found the this. Same thickness? Same thickness. Oh. 
Okay, never mind. So it was time to finish this plan. Oh my goodness, the bee is back. The bee is back, and he's got friends. Pass me my lightsaber. It's no use. Try the laser gun. All right, now I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look anything like a private island. But that's because I'm only getting started. By the time I'm done with this thing, it's going to have palm trees, tiki torches, fire dancers, a five-star hotel. All right, maybe not all that, but it's going to be pretty cool. But before I turn this thing into a literal paradise, I should probably make sure it floats. So I brought it out to the lake, and I got to say, it was absolutely majestic pretty sweet it's definitely floating it's doing a great job this experience was super calming and I felt so relaxed but something just felt off I mean this is really cool it's really peaceful but I it's honestly really lonely when you're away from people for so long you really just start to miss people even if they're annoying and then it clicked I knew then what I needed to do. I'm sorry. Cut. That song is just not doing it for me. Can, can we try it again with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, cool, thanks. And then it clicked. I knew then what I needed to do. I needed to... What are you doing? What? Pull up Epidemic Sound and just find something inspirational and dreamy. Okay, okay, gotcha. Thank you. Okay, mood, dreamy, and... I knew exactly what I had to do. You see, I was being selfish trying to keep this island all to myself. I needed to finish building this thing and get a friend out here to enjoy it with me. You see how easy it was to find that song? Well, with Epidemic Sound, you can find the perfect song for any mood or situation. Not only do they have over 35,000 musical tracks, but they also have over 90,000 sound effects, which lets you do cool stuff like this. And this, and this. Now our sponsor has given out a pretty sweet deal. Not only do you get a free 30 day trial by using my link in the description, but by using code Carlini50 at checkout, you'll get two months 50% off. So sign up for Epidemic Sound so you can start doing this today. So one thing was for sure, I was not gonna go back out there by myself. I needed a friend. But who or whom? I don't know when to say who or whom. But I actually knew exactly who. Mm. My friend Tyler. He loves birds, running, and getting bad grades. But most importantly, he doesn't have an island. You see, Tyler recently competed against 100 people to win a private island, but sadly he lost. Miserably, he was forced to walk shamefully away with no island. So he would be the perfect person to surprise with this thing. I'll text him right now. All right, we're locked in for Saturday. All right, I don't want my island to have sand. I mean, it's nice, but I brought my backpack to the beach five years ago and I'm still trying to get sand out of it. So I wanna go with something a bit more clean, like fake grass, comfortable, waterproof, perfect. the wrong size turf. Oh, are you kidding me? This game cheats. Uh-oh. This was going to be a problem. Hey, what's up? Uh, can you control the weather? Yeah, why? I invited Tyler out to use the island on Saturday, but it's gonna rain. Can we like change that? <sighs> I'll see what I can do. to show your face around here, Winkus. Well, I should probably order the right grass, and what else does this thing need? Huh. Well, according to Google Images, every single one of these islands has palm trees, so gotta have a palm tree. So I found a super sweet palm tree that would make my island look sick. Tyler was gonna lose his mind. 
Hey, I swear this isn't what it looks like. Oh, spare me. Did you not see the sign? I just need the weather. You were banished! Does that mean nothing to you? Jake's building an island, and the weather's supposed to be really bad. We were appointed High Council to maintain the order of this universe, not to interfere. I request an appeal by judgment of the Oracle. <laughs> the Oracle will not be bothered with such petty nothingness. Under ruling of the Garbiton Accords, I reserve the right to a vote, and I vote to change the weather. <sighs> Fine. What say you, Palandrium? My grass came, and wow, this stuff looks good. It looks way better than the last stuff. Just give it a quick haircut, and wow, look at that. Beautiful. Oh no, this is not the tree I ordered. It's too short. Not that there's anything wrong with being short, but it's too short for the island. And I know that Tyler wouldn't approve. I can already hear his disappointed islandless screams. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to get a new one, but I uh, should probably check on the weather situation. Hey man, you got any update on the... Whoa. Hey buddy. W what's going on? I failed. Okay. I can't change the weather. What happened? I failed you, my family. I'm a disgrace to the High Council. The Oracle won't even speak to me. All right, that's enough. Listen, man, you can sit there all day feeling sorry for yourself, but nothing's gonna change unless you get up and take action. Now I gotta go order another palm tree. Right, now we're talking. This tree was literally perfect. It looked just like a real palm tree and it would make a fine addition to my island. All right, so I need a way to attach the tree to the island, but I need a way to make it like collapsible or something. Cause there's no way this thing's gonna fit in the back of my car. So this is it, dude. This is the last thing I gotta do. Tomorrow's the big day. Tyler is going to lose his mind when he sees this thing. Oh man, I'm so excited. Man, it turned out to be a pretty nice day. Cool. Man, I'm so excited. Tyler's almost here. He's gonna see the island for the first time. So, what do you think? Oh my gosh, Jake, you built me an island because I lost my chance at winning an island in the Mr. Beast video? Yeah! He absolutely loved it. No surprise there. And then we had the best time ever. Now doing something nice for yourself is cool, but doing something nice for someone else, that's way more rewarding. Hey, dude, dude, hey, can I get my ball back? And cut. That's it, that's a wrap, man. That's all I got. <laughs>